Sugar baby, sugar baby, nice whip, nice crib. Nice I want this, I want I that. Want he that. give it to me. Hey y'all, it's your girl Elijah. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because, honey, you know, in the sugar baby lifestyle, shit is always popping. I'm, I'm just now getting up again dressed. I was listening to music earlier and I was just distracted. So I'm gonna get ready. I just got out the shower. I'm about to brush my teeth and I'm really hungry. I need to go eat. And I, I have a few errands that I have to run and just a few things I need to do today. And then I'm also gonna talk to y'all about my new business venture that I already know y'all are gonna love. But for right now, let's get ready, honey, because I look a mess. I like to use Burt's Bees toothpaste. It's fluoride free. So now I'm gonna go in and start washing my face off with my Punani Box products. I'm gonna, um, if you bought my Punani Box products, you'll go, you'll recognize the steps that I'm going through, because all of my skincare products come with a skincare card. That way, you know which steps to use them in. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face with this. This is better than wetting your face with water. I feel like. The filter water already messes up the whole shebang with everything. So I'm gonna wet my face with this and then go in and just kinda scrub it into my, my skin with my brush that I have here. If you wanna know what ingredients are inside of this, definitely go check out my website. Put any box is also trademarked, so you know, honey. Lawyers on deck. Yes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my mine is kind of empty, which is why I'm doing it like this. <laughs> with my cleanser. Again, all ingredients are on my website, melijasboutique.com. Go check that out. Skincare. This is a Pune, it's called Punani Box, but it is for all skin types and it is for, you can use it on any parts of your body, face, knees, elbows. I don't know, I already washed off the, my astringent and I'm just cleaning off the rest of my face. And there we go, honey. Skin by Panetti Box. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some moisturizer on. My scrub is really good too. Don't forget to buy my scrub. You get one pound of scrub, $15, honey, you can't beat that. This is my moisturizer. Again, all ingredients are on my website, honey. You tell me what you think. How's it look? Ting. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is my OOTD. I got on some simple overalls. I have them in a large and with my black turtleneck and then my black boots, you know. <laughs> I love these boots, 
because they were really affordable. They were like $30 at a boutique that I seen. And you know, I got the black short nails to match. I'm a businesswoman now. I love my long nails, but I be having stuff to do and the long nails get in the way. So you know, I had to go short. But yes, honey and body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. <laughs> but yes, we looking good, honey. You know, I got the chains on. I just got dope my hair. Slick, gotta slick the baby hairs, you know. Don't play with me. A little bit of highlight, purple lip, pastel purple though. Not too, not too crazy. And yeah, honey, I look all right. I'm still working out, getting my body back right. Cause you know, I did gain some weight for my BBL. So I'm getting my body back together, getting my shape, you know, back right, honey, don't play with me. But everything's falling into place. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the living room cause I have stuff to do today. I am gonna be looking for my spa building today. I told y'all about Shea Ready Spa and I am serious about getting it up and running. It should be up and running sometime in January, all of December, all of the rest of the year. I'm going to be taking time to get all the details together. But Shea Ready Spa will be up and running very soon and I'll be looking for some beautiful girls to come and help me get this money, of course. I'm going to go ahead and um, go find this building, go drop these orders off. I have 30 orders I got to drop off at the USPS office. And yeah, honey, let's go. Say what you want about me, but you can't say I'm broke and you can't say I don't know how to run a business, honey. Thank you so much for everybody that's been shopping with me and that trusts me with your skin and that trusts me with your money. One thing about my brand is I want you to feel like royalty from the moment you spend your money to the moment you get your product. I want you to know what you're getting is quality. I don't care how much money you're spending. I don't care if you're spending $10 with me, with $5 with me, whatever you get is going to be quality from my skincare line to the accessories that I sell at my boutique. So definitely don't forget to shop MelinasBoutique.com so you can get your skin right, your lips right, honey, all that. Your knowledge too, you know I sell books, don't play with me. But yeah, go shop with me and you know if you need some sugar baby coaching so you can get, so you can level up, girl. Don't forget to check out my coaching classes. They're only $50. I have them every Sunday, so go check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and get these in my bag so I can go to the USPS office and drop them off. Let's go. All right, ladies, so I'm checking in with y'all right now. I just took out my glue and extensions. I was supposed to take them out for y'all on camera so y'all can see how I do them. But I just kind of forgot, I honestly just like forgot. I just spaced out and just started taking them out. But I wear glue and extensions only because I used to wear wigs all the time. And the main reason why I was wearing wigs was because my leave out had got fried and my hair was just really bad. And so now that my hair has grown out and I don't really need to wear a wig anymore, I like to wear glue and extensions. Here's my extensions right here. All the extensions that I had in my head. But um, yes, and a lot of people probably think glue and extensions are really bad, but it's honestly not. It's really just how you maintain them and take them out. Of course, now they have a glue remover, which is why my hair is kind of looks, looks a little oily, mainly because um, all day today, what I do is basically with my glue and with my glue and extensions, I do the same thing as you would do with lashes. I let them just fall, start falling out or just getting loose. Once they start to get loose, I then put the glue remover. It's like an all day process. I let the glue remover sit on there and then to, like probably for a couple hours and then I'll take a shower and wash them out, use a lot of conditioner and they will literally just slide right out of your head. Mine were really loose so I didn't have to take a shower. They literally just came right out with the glue remover. So, um, yes, and as you can see, my hair is not damaged, like, at all. Can you see? Like, my hair is not damaged at all. And the main reason why my hair is not damaged is because I use a lot of oils. I use organic oils in my hair, like, whenever I'm crimping it or whatever. That way, my hair does not get damaged. So, yeah, honey, I'm going to jump in the shower, but I am going to show y'all how I put my extensions back in. So, stay tuned. All right, so I know I told y'all I was about to get in the shower, but I lied. I'm actually about to get in the sauna. As you can see, I got my 
sweat belt on honey i'm about to get this body back snatched i had gained weight for a bbl and i didn't end up wanting to go get a bbl so now i have to get my body back together i'm gonna snap back and shake on these haters you feel me honey but yeah so this is how we looking i got my waist shaper on for my fitness line and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and jump in here I'm going to get in the sauna for a good hour, then I'm going to get out, do a few ab workouts and some squats and um, some booty workouts. I'm going to film that too. And yeah, honey, let's get in the sauna, girl. All right, y'all. So I'm in the sauna, as you can see it's really hot in here but yeah i'm gonna sit in here for an hour then i'm gonna do some ab workouts and some butt workouts and take a quick shower and then i'm gonna talk to y'all about my sugar baby spa so stay tuned Whew. all right y'all so i just got out the sauna if you can't see i am covered in sweat so i'm about to do a couple ab workouts and some butt workouts and i'm gonna get my butt in the shower honey Hey y'all, I want to give a quick shout out to Tanya White. She is the founder of Millie's Club, which is a black owned online shoe store. They sell high quality boots, heels, flats, platforms, and sandals. All of their shoes are handmade and run from sizes five all the way up to 15. Millie stands for a woman who does not seek approval to express who they are. They are unapologetically fabulous 24 seven. Go shop, let them know that Malijah sent you and all details will be in the description description box all right so i'm gonna start out with some butt workouts i love these butt workouts because they're literally like go-to for if you're trying to build your butt muscles so easy to do and they're very effective so i'm gonna do 50 of them <clears throat> now i'm gonna go on my side and do some of these these are really good for this muscle here. Woo! Feel the fucking burn. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do 30 more of my, I don't know what they're called, but butt, butt arc, butt arc ups. And Cairo is looking at me right there. He is so cute, like, the papa, the papa, the Mila. They're so cute. All right, y'all, so I just got out the shower. I'm about to get dressed, throw on some clothes, and talk to y'all about this Sugar Baby Spa. So stay tuned. Let's get into it, honey. All right, let me talk to y'all for a second. While we talk, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff one of my cones. I have a little bit of weed left. I gotta go get some weed tomorrow for my dude. You know, I don't pay for weed, especially not when my dude buys we bought a pound. Thankfully, he does. So he just gives me some and, you know, I'll be good. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff some in here. We'll get some more weed from him tomorrow. And I'm going to talk to y'all about my sugar baby spa. Y'all know me. I'm always thinking of new ways to get money, trying to start new business ventures and things like that. And recently, I was, you know, thinking... I make good money, but I want to make more money. And not only that, my boutique is online, so I'm always home. Like, I'm always working from the house. And I just also wanted to find something that I can make money doing without having to be home. So I was thinking, I was like, I invested in all of this spa equipment to literally just stop. 
Like, and I really didn't even have a reason to completely just stop. I could have opened up my own spa. And I don't know why I didn't think about this idea a long time ago. I kind of, I guess I wanted to get out of the business. But what I didn't realize is that I can get out the business and not have to be dealing with my sugar daddies in a sexual way that I can literally just have a spa, give massages and nothing else. Like I don't have to go on dates with these men. I'm trying to be more exclusive to my man that I'm dating now. So we've already talked about it. And the good part about everything is he's going to be investing with me. So we're going to go half. Um, well, he's going to basically like give me half of what I need. He wants to invest in it as well with me. So that's going to be a really dope that I'm not going to have to come fully out of my pockets for it. He knows that I can make money doing this. I wish I would have thought about doing this a long time ago. When I, I mean, I already know how to get the money coming in. Now it's just all about getting the building, getting the equipment, and finding the girls to hire. So I decided that my building, I don't want a regular office space, mainly because I don't want to have to deal with the taxes. And I have some things inside my spa that I, ne I don't necessarily want to deal with anyone's input or anyone's bullshit or even get in trouble for what I'm going to have in my spa. So my spa is going to have, I'm going to get a loft space. It's going to be an open loft space. And in there, I'm going to have about like three to five massage tables. I'm going to have a nail booth, a hair booth, a stripper pole, a bar, and a little lounge area, which is also going to be this hookah section area. My hookah session area is going to be like a nice little cafe feel, but like lounge area. And the main reason why I'm going to include that in there is because when girls, I'm going to be, I'm going to help in a sense with booking with girls getting booked and when they get booked if they meet a potential sugar daddy that maybe doesn't want to get a massage and maybe just wants to come to our play our place or my place um, my facility and hang out and just talk to the girl maybe have a drink hookah etc then the lounge area in my spa will be a place where people can do meet and greets they can do a meet and greet there at my place, feel safe, be somewhere that they're comfortable, and also be in a fun area where they don't have to worry about people judging them. So I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna have my stripper pole with a dance, a light up dance platform. That way there's a fun and a free spirited feel to my spa. Um, that way men could even pay for lap dances or just, you know, pay to watch a girl dance on the pole. Not necessarily doing any stripping or getting naked or anything like that. It's going to be all covered fun. And, um, and by covered fun, I mean we're not going to be getting naked in my spa. Everything is going to be super legit. And then I'm going to have a bar. I'm going to have an open bar, you know, tequila, whiskey, wine, champagne, things like that. And then I'm gonna have my three to five massage tables. I'm gonna get pink tables. My theme for my spa is going to be pink and gold. And then I'm gonna get a nail booth. I'm gonna invest in everything. The nail tech will just have to pay for her chair. So she'll have to pay for her chair for the month. I'm going to have that. And then I'm gonna have a hair booth, same thing. You're gonna have to pay for your chair for the month. And with my massage tables, the girls that I hire will have to pay a house fee. They're going to have to pay a house fee, you know, tip out and things like that. That way they'll make their money and I'll make my money as well. And um, I'm really glad that my dude is wanting to help me fund this idea. Because where he comes in, he'll, he is a bigger statured, statured guy. I'm already gonna have cameras and a security system and things like that. I'm not gonna just be allowing people to come to the spa. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to just allow people to just come, like just, hey, where y'all at? And send the address and they come over, none of that. If anyone wants to, wants to book a session for anything in my spa, you will. they will be getting screened. I already know how to screen video verification, all that other stuff is gonna be set up. I'm also gonna have a website for everything. But I like that my guy is helping me fund it because 
it's always good to have a male's perspective on things. So I'm definitely going to get his perspective as far as what I could do better or what I could, you know, not have or what I can have and things like that. So he's going to be giving me his input. And yeah, this fall is going to be dope. My website's going to be dope. The girls are going to have a uniform. I'm going to have a uniform for all the girls. I think it's going to be like a I'm not sure what the uniform is going to look like just yet, but I want it to be kind of like a bombshells type of outfit. You know, a cute top, maybe a nice cute skirt, something very sensual, sexy, yet covered up. I don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable or feel like they have too much hanging out or anything like that. I'm going to have the sauna, hot rocks, the towel warmers. I'm going to have heated blankets. We're going to have facial steamers, nice oils. It's going to smell good in there. I'm like, it's going to be a very, very good spa. And not only that, it's going to be almost like a one-stop shop because, you know, got the spa, got the nails, got the hair, got the hookah, got the liquor, all that cool stuff. I'm like really, really excited. I can't wait to get this up and running. I'm going to start promoting it. And I'm going to get a lot of customs. I definitely know that. My clientele is amazing. I know once I get this up and running, all of my old clients are going to want to come through and see me, see the girls, see the facility that we have going on, see my spa. Just I'm going to have the lights and music and maybe a TV in there for the sports, for the guys. And just I have a whole vision. And then after this one gets up and jumping i'm gonna start another one in another state i'm not gonna say the state that i'm going to mainly because i don't want anybody to steal my idea but it's my favorite place to go and i already know when i go open one up there i'm gonna seal the deal honey and then i'll be looking for girls to um hire of course i'm not gonna be just hiring everybody i know everyone wants to come get money with me i'm not gonna be hiring everybody I personally, I'm going to have a certain look that I'm going for and certain characteristics that I'm looking for. You got to be confident. You have to look good physically. Like you need to, you have to be pretty to me in my eyes. You have to be pretty. I'm not going to just be hiring anybody mainly because my clientele is going to expect a certain look coming from me. So I'm not going to just be hiring anybody just because I feel sorry for them or they want to really work with me or anything if i've seen you on every single sugar baby's youtube channel i will not be hiring you if you if i used to go to school with you or if you are from my hometown i will not be hiring you if you're a felon i will not be hiring you i am looking for bombshells you have to be confident you need to be reliable. You have to have your own tra transportation. You have to be experienced. I do. I am not looking for any newbies. I'm not looking to have to train a woman how to treat how to treat a man or make a man feel, you know, like he is respected or you know how to. I want people that are experienced, you know, in massaging in the sugar baby game. I want experienced women mainly because I'm not gonna. I don't necessarily. I don't want to. I don't want newbies, you know, I want experienced people. So that confidence, reliable transportation and people I can trust as well. I'm definitely looking for a few girls that I can trust, girls that I can be like, all right, hey, you're in charge of the spa today. I'm going out of town for the week or, you know, whatever you're in charge of the spa for the week. You know, I'm going out of town. I need you to do this, this and this. I need you to, you know, make sure the money is deposited at this time or, you know, whatever. Make sure everything's locked up. FaceTime me or call me when, you know, whatever. Check in with me, you know, just things like that. I'm definitely really looking forward to meeting, meeting you, meeting girls, meeting you girls that want to, you know, get on with me and hopefully establishing really good friendships and relationships and business, you know, meeting business partners and you know just meeting women that i could really trust with my business so i'm definitely looking forward to that because i put off a lot of girls that i used to associate with and the main reason why i cut them off was because one they have nothing of value to me they're mental physical nothing like they bring nothing to the table that or they're just bums and i really have inside I feel we, there's no reason for us to be friends. Like we're on two different levels and I'm not about to 
bring myself down to meet your standards just so we can be friends you feel me so i cut off people for that i cut people off for you know just bullshit and wasting my time you know i'm i'm definitely looking for a new crowd and so i'm looking forward to this you know spa venture and getting out the house and being around different people and stuff like that this is definitely going to be a very very good business venture and i'm looking forward to it but um yeah it's gonna be sugar baby spa i'm really excited honey and yeah so if you're interested definitely you know drop your comments below i will be having auditions i'll be having auditions for my masseuses for my nail techs and for my my well i wouldn't say just wig installations i'm gonna have a hair booth so you know you can install wigs you can do sew-ins just do hair period so I will be doing auditions for those three spots. I'll have about four girls from masseuses on deck, one, one to two nail techs, and one to two hairstylists. I'm gonna look for my building and everything first, and then I will be having auditions sometimes in, sometime in January, February, I'll be having auditions and stuff like that. But yeah, so go check that out. Don't forget, honey, Sugar Baby Spa coming soon to Dallas, Texas. I don't really have much else to talk to y'all about, honey. And don't forget, scare feet, don't eat, and a closed mouth won't get fed. Mwah. Bitch!